All right, everyone, well, it's that time. I did a battery test, right? I haven't done a battery test since I think iOS 13 came out, and I wanted to see which one would have the better battery life, the iPhone 8, which is on the right, or the iPhone SE 2 that is on the left. So I've been testing these like thoroughly, so crazy, like nonstop. I could not find one that was like necessarily way better than the other one, just kind of like subliminally looking at them. Like I would compare them, put them to the side, kind of check on them every once in a while, and they would kind of be draining at the same time, which I kind of expected. And from there, you know, usually I can tell a lot, you know, I've been testing a lot of phones. And one thing that I immediately saw was that they both, obviously they have the same size battery within them. That's a very big thing to point out. Both of these have the same size battery. I think it's an 18, 21 mAh battery, which, you know, in this day and age is kind of small, I'm not gonna lie, but it's totally okay. Now, after that, I tested last night, right? I was like, okay, I'm gonna do the test that I usually always do. And, and this is the least problematic test ever. It's the easiest one to do. And I think it's the best one to do because it requires the least amount of effort and it doesn't revolve me playing a game for hours and hours in it. And I think it tells you a lot too because it's the same task that's being played on both. And what it was basically is just playing a video that's like 24 hours long on both of these phones until one dies out. And from there, I'm able to see which one timed out and all that stuff. Now, I wasn't looking at them. And the way I'm able to tell which one is better is within the settings on both of these. So I want to quickly point out one important thing. So the battery health on the iPhone 8 is at 96%. The battery health on the SE2 is 100%, and that's a very, very big thing to point out. A lot of people don't show you this because they just think it doesn't matter. This is how big the batteries are on both of these, basically. So this is 100%. Obviously, I, did, I just bought this like a month ago, but this has been out for a couple of years, and I've owned this, I think, for like a year and some change. So keep in mind that this one is at 96%. And I can do some math calculations later, but I'm just going to tell you, like, it's going to make sense as soon as I explain it to you. So last night I went and played that video, right? Now let me show you the screen time on both of these. So I'll show you the screen time here, and I'll show you the screen time here. And I kind of got freaked out because I thought my iPhone it was glitching up, but totally was not. I don't know even know what these things were. But if I go ahead and click on here, and if I click on here, you can see how long the video lasted on both of these. So on the iPhone SE 2, it lasted for about 4 hours and 56 minutes, 55 minutes. On the iPhone 8, about 4 hours and 32 minutes. So... There, right there, you would probably assume that the iPhone 8, you know, has way worse battery life because it's, you know, older or whatever. But you also have to remember that this one was at 96%. So this one did not last as long as this one, mostly because of that battery life and because of the battery health that's degraded on this. They both were maxed out at the same amount of brightness. They both had no apps in the background, both on the latest versions and all that stuff. And the difference between these two were like 20 minutes. I mean, there was not a big difference between these at all. I've played tons of games on these things. I've done so many things on both these phones throughout the month that I've owned this and the years that I've owned this. And even then, they both kind of felt the same when it came down to battery life. So when it comes down to the battery life between the iPhone 8 and the iPhone SE 2020, there is pretty much no difference at all. They are almost exactly the same type of battery life, battery size. You're going to be getting the same. And I think I just tested throughout my last night comparison. But that's not really a bad thing either. Like the SE 2 and the iPhone 8, they have pretty decent battery life. I'm not going to say they're the best because they're not. But for a phone, it's not bad, if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? Like, you're always going to be around a charger. Lightning ports are everywhere. These two have wireless charging as well. So you will be kind of good in that sense. But in terms of battery life and the battery life comparison, for sure, the iPhone SE 2 and the iPhone 8 are almost exactly the same when it comes down to it. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those things are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, all, man.